Oh, look at like that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's the Clone Wars right here in front of you. There it goes. Look at this. I'd probably just sit out here and play with this. Play chess by myself because I have no friends. You ain't played these in a minute. Played these in a minute, man. You ain't played these in a minute. Played these. You ain't played these in a minute. Played these in a minute, man. You ain't played these in a minute. Played these in a minute, man. And good morning to all my girls, guys, and gamers. Welcome. And you're tuned in to another Rare Necessities. I'm sitting in my car observing the people around me because I am at the channel swap meet because that is my swap meet that's closest to me. I enjoy this swap meet. Um, but I'm actually here on a Tuesday, which is a little different because I'm not fighting for parking. And I keep looking over because there's a family getting out of a van uh, a lady and a friend of hers, I guess, out of a van, but there's like 17 kids getting out of this van. So I'm just like, it's like one of those uh, circus cars you just keep seeing, you know, clowns getting out. Well, this one's just like kids keep popping out this car. But anyways, I'm excited, you guys. I contacted a person on OfferUp. They're selling a lot of Nintendo Switch games sealed for a really inexpensive price. I'm trying to always build my Nintendo Switch uh, library of games. But yeah, we're going to get in here, hopefully get some great footage, hopefully find some good stuff. Like I said, it's a Tuesday, so hopefully I'll get more vendors that are selling video games, but mm, we'll see. Dang, those kids still getting out of that van. That is insane. <laughs> that is insane. Anyways, guys. Let's get in there, walk around, get some exercise, and uh, let's get them games. All right, so about to walk in this. It's definitely an interesting crowd today. Uh, not as packed as it normally is. Parking lot's open. So I'm gonna get in there and hope for the best. Always digging the damn mystery. Simpson Studios. <laughs> Don't have this one. Doing stuff with one hand is not easy. See how much it is. Star Wars New Hope. Sports Champion. I think I have this one. Not unplugged the Sega cords of it all. Three dollars. And we're in hopes it works. Oh, looks legit. And I found the path for that draw game. And I unplugged the cord. DVD 
And for free, free Bibles. The Word of God for free. Can't put a price on that. That's all right. For Kung Fu Panda. That's a good one, Fable, too. Oh, King Kong. This is a good movie. Oh, Casper and Friends. Those are classic. Alright guys, footage got a little hard at towards the end because I uh, ended up picking up a VCR for like 8 bucks or something so I'm super excited to show you guys that but we're going to head out uh, the contact on offer up got back to me and uh, again picking up some Nintendo Switch games uh, excited to show you guys what I pick up because uh, really good price on them so let's go I say it every time and it's not a lie I end up meeting people at the most usual spot. So I'm at a Dairy Queen. And this person's on their way with the Nintendo Switch games. So like I said, you just never know what they look like. I'm going to be honest right now. I don't know last time I was even by a Dairy Queen. Things happen for a reason. And I think stopping at a Dairy Queen is a sign for me to get their like a meal of food or something. And they got a drive through Shoot, that's a done deal. I don't even got to get out my car. I'm going to go through the Dairy Queen drive through I don't know the last time I had a burger, fries, and like a, like a shake or maybe even like a banana split or something. But I'm over here looking like, dang, forgot how much good stuff Dairy Queen has. I'm not uh, trying to shoot down Baskin Robbins and their 31 flavors, but... I don't know, man. Dairy Queen's always held it down pretty well. That's like those, uh, I went there one time, A&W root beer burger spots. I'm hoping this person gets here soon because I'm getting hungry. I need some food. I need to eat. Oh, check it out. This is also what I got. Do a book review on this. It's a graffiti book. I love art. Oh, I think they're here. All right, cutting the camera. How are you, brother? How's it going? Good. How are you? Alrighty, guys. Just got back in the car. Uh, the guy on offer up, super cool guy, really nice guy. Um, I don't want to show you what I got yet. I want to get back to the house and show you guys everything I got, but. Switch games, guys. Look at that. Woo! All right, guys. But again, super pumped to show you guys what I got. Great deals on these. Look at that. Look at that beauty, you guys. Love it. Finally back home and ready to show you what I picked up from not only the Chino Swap Meet, but also uh, from some uh, few people from OfferUp. So let's get into it. So I picked up couple more movies I picked up Bruce Willis a good day to die I think it's the sequel to die hard on blu-ray 
Mystic River on DVD. Friday the 13th. Love my horror movies. House Party 2. The Pajama Jam. And The Notorious and Always Funny to Watch. Never gets old to me. Ace Ventura. Pet Detective. So those are my DVDs I picked up. Then walking around, I found some little knickknacks for my shelf. And I found an A Team. It's the 1983 GMC Jimmy Sierra Classic from the A Team TV show. And if any of you are not familiar with A Team, I'm old. Um, all I can say is Mr. T was in it. So you might want to look that up if you're interested in it. Really good show. Uh, I picked up. I always like to find some stuff to put on top of my shelf in front of my DVDs and my video games. And I found. Remember the little dog on Earthward Gym? And then when he gets upset, turns into that giant monster. Got that guy. So that was really cool. An old school Cabbage Patch like little figure. Didn't even know they made these. A McDonald's Fry Guy. <laughs> that one's cool. Back in the day, I think uh, Burger King. Let me tell you if I went back. 1990. They were making these. And I could have sworn you got them inside a kid meal. I don't know. But the Simpsons, they did some of these. But there's Marge. Marge is cool because she's got like some like birds in her hair or something. And then I picked up uh, this one. This one I remember like literally this figure right here. I remember being a kid. And um, this is probably like one of my earliest memories of like holding a figure from a, from a Happy Meal. I remember being at my cousin's house and seeing this figure and I don't know something intrigued me so much about it but that's a uh, flower from Bambi Disney's Bambi that character so that was cool not bad condition I'll probably magic wipe and get get it cleaned up and then I picked up from another vendor some action figures still in uh, the case Packaging is a little messed up on this one, but Virus. This is a per apparently a collector series. My brother said it's based off a, uh, it says Universal, based off a, I think he said a sci-fi movie or horror film. But I don't know. I thought it was cool because it was still in package. So I got that. And then I picked up, I was pumped about this one. The guy only wanted a couple bucks. From Hercules, Xena the Warrior Princess. I watched a lot of that show growing up. Not going to say why. He's just a uh, really good fighter. But, uh, yeah, even the back of it's cool. Just looking at it, I can remember a lot of those uh, toys. I, I didn't own a lot of these. I wasn't really into that type of, uh, those type of action figures. I was more Marvel, uh, DC, but this is still cool. Look at here's Xena right there. Look at that. Look at that bad woman right there. Then from the vendor, one for a couple bucks, it's a Sega. One of those plug and plays. I've never seen this before. Uh, my brother said apparently it has some games downloaded on it. So now the big question is does it play and does it work? So I'll have to hook that up uh, maybe after this and see if it works. Really, really hoping it does, but we'll see. And let's see what else I bought. Oh, and then I picked this up for a couple bucks um, on the, I think it was the Wii, that, uh, I guess it's called You Draw, and it's just like a, it's a drawing game, and all, I mean, ooh, that's, can't even see that, but it comes with uh, the pencil, I mean, everything's for it, you just hook up the uh, Wii controller there, and you just start, I don't know, I'll never play the game, start drawing, I love drawing, so I thought this was cool. This is one of those games I wanted for the longest time when I seen it, but I wasn't going to pay for what they were asking for, um, at least for that price. Look, even put the pen right there. Look how cool that is. So, Magic White, this bad boy, clean it up. It's like brand new. But the bum thing about this is I also picked up the game for a couple bucks, so I was all excited because, you know, I had the game, I got the tablet, but then uh, when I got home, I couldn't find the game. So, 
bummed out. I'm probably gonna have to order it on eBay because I obviously want to play that. Um, so yeah, that was kind of sucks. It sucks when you pick up stuff and you get home and you're like, where's that item? And then you can't find it. And what else did I get? Okay, so on offer up, uh, this person I went to, huge Star Wars fan, he had this. Uh, it's called the Jedi Path. It's pretty much like it's supposed to be like the books, the book of the Jedi, the history of the Jedi. So I have the Sith one of this. I didn't have the Jedi one, so I got this for a really, really good price. And it's a really cool book. It's got a uh, like the pages are all ripped, makes it look like it's really old and vintage. And then he had a a patch in there. And uh, look at look at this. Never even noticed this. Oh, it's got someone's hair in it. Look at that. It's got someone's hair. Maybe I can, uh, I could probably get this, you know what I mean? And just wear that under my beanie. Because when you're a, a pod one, they have that hair thing going on. Mmm, <laughs> smells ancient. I think, hopefully, it's not real hair. But that was in there, so that's cool. Actually, you know what? Let me, let me put that back in the book. Because. I don't know. It doesn't smell like... I'll put that back in there. Anyways. Anyway, so I picked up that book. This is cool. And then it comes with like this card thing that's in it. And I don't even know what's in this. So let's check that out. It comes with a... Uh, okay. A coin of some sort. If any of you know what that is and all about, please feel free to tell me because I'm not familiar with it. Um, just excited to say that I own it and it's on my shelf. So that's a cool book. Got that. And then I was super pumped about this, and I'm not going to dive too deep, uh, too deep into it, but I was excited um, knowing where I'm at and going in my life. But I picked up a... Uh, this lady was selling some books, um, and she gave me these for free. I got two free uh, Bibles. So I was lost for words, overly excited that she, uh, you know... I don't know if it's wrong to sell Bibles, I mean, but I was just pumped because they're brand new, like they've never been touched or read, and uh, I love the smell of just books, and I got two of them, so I was excited about that, but that's for my own personal stuff, I don't want to get too deep into that, but I'm excited. Switch, I picked up some games for a really, really good price, shout out to the gentleman uh, who I picked them up from, uh, if he ends up watching this video, thank you. I purchased these games really excited I'll say that one because that's probably like my favorite one and then along with the games he gave me these which are called I've never seen these before these are um, sprue kits sprue kits and apparently they're like um, models I like models so I got these to build not my generation of Pokemon but uh, I'm going to build them because these are cool. I'll show you a better picture of those. So he threw these in for free with that games I bought. And I'm excited. Super Mario 3D World with Bowser's Fury. Yoshi's Craft World. Is that right? Crafted World. Super Smash. Yep, didn't own it. I own it now. Don't give me your comments. It's a great game. I know that. Burnout Paradise Remastered. Never played Burnout, but I've said it once and I'll say it twice. I love racing games. Rocket League. Heard a lot about this game. Never played it. And the Ninjago Movie. Legos video games. Love them. Never get tired of those. And then Marvel Super Heroes 2. Another Legos game. And what I'm super excited about. Not that I'm not excited about all these because I am. Um, I mean, I'm just going to dive into these tonight but i got octopath traveler uh, i played the demo of this rpg and it's really cool because uh from what i've noticed is you have a lot of different characters to choose so this is one of those games like you can pick a character play through it and then unlike you know some of the rpgs like when you're done playing it that's it game was great no this one um as far as my understanding is you can go back through pick another character boom it's like brand new uh, game 
as far as like the storyline and stuff. So I am super pumped about this. I've been waiting for this one forever to own. So I was excited about that. So I got new Switch games to add to my collection. Still have games to beat though, so let me add that in. And what else did I pick up? Oh, so again, the guy from Offer Up that I got the Jedi book from. I got, I got this, and you can't see it because I'm gonna set it up though. But it's a, a Star Wars chessboard. I'm not good at chess, but I love playing chess, and uh, so I like to collect different chessboards. So I got that, and we'll get a we'll get a nice photo uh, in there of the chessboard, all set up, looking beautiful, and nice, and all the pieces detailed. But uh, I'm excited. If, because I got this for a great deal. And what else did I get? Ah! I know what else I got. Hold on. Let me show you. Because I'm excited. Watch this. Look at that, you guys. I got a VCR. Hold on. Let me get the light closer. Because we got to get good footage of this. Because I'm pumped. Check it out. Got a VCR to go with my old school TV. I like... I like um I love the old school like you know retro stuff that I grew up with especially look at here we go let's let's get all of this for those of you that don't know this is called a VHS this is what I grew up with and this was before DVDs and what you'd have to do is put this big old cassette in here Boop. check that out always with the warning remember those and let me just show you a little snippet of this right here. Look at that. Dual 2 VHS DVD player. And then my brother hooked it up with the Star Wars trilogy on VHS. Pumped about that. Oh, check this out, you guys. Look at that. Remember this? Remember that? Yeah. Yeah, pronounce that word. Look. How awesome is that? How cool is that? <laughs> and then next door to this, we'll, we'll just do it while I'm filming right now. I'll plug up that Sega and let's hope it works. Good, good, good. All right, so let's plug this up. And we're in high hopes that this works. And if you guys seen the footage, it took me forever to have to untangle this thing. And then the lady tried to charge me double because she's trying to charge me for the controller and this. And I was like, no, they're all the same thing. Not going to work. All right, so let's plug this in. So, boom, boom. Boom. All right, so we got the power. Power's on, that's good. No signal there. Woo! Oh, it does work. So we have Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Kid Chameleon, Alter Beast, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, and Flicky. And, but Alter Beast. So let's get some footage real quick of this. Look at it, guys. Can we, can we see this? this game oh I love this game this game never gets boring oh you know what I noticed too check this out it's got a uh, menu button so check this out and take a step back check that out there you go all right I don't know about you but I'm excited that is so sweet I got a VCR so now I can start collecting uh, VHS tapes and then I got that cool Sega so now when I'm in my garage I not only have my uh, Super Nintendo to play, my extra one, but now I have that little Sega uh, plug and play, so that's sweet. And then again, I'm really excited because my brother didn't want to part ways with this, um, but the original uh, Star Wars on VHS. So shout out to my bro. My bro's always hooking me up with movies, man. Right here. Look how cool that is. I'm pumped. So I'm going to play my Sega and then put these on and watch those. Because I'm telling you this right now. 
and we'll make this a short conversation. Episode four, five, and six, that's my stuff. That's where it's at. I don't disagree with one, two, three, or seven, eight, nine. I'm just telling you what I grew up with, four, five, and six. And I'm not one of those, I'm not gonna say that uh, none of those stories exist and all of that because I appreciate uh, you know the prequels or whatever before four five and six and the ones after with Kylo uh, Obviously, I appreciate it. You know what I mean, and then you know what this is how much I love Star Wars look at Look at Chewbacca tattoo look up show love to the Wookiee So I'm just gonna say that real quick, but anyways that was uh, the find for this week I truly from the bottom of my heart appreciate you guys watching my videos uh, if you subscribed or if you have it, maybe you would like to because um, I got a lot of stuff coming up. I'm really excited just to keep throwing out content to you guys and hope you enjoy it. I enjoy making them. Um, tell your friends and family, um, you know, what? let them know about my channel. And yeah, I think that's it, guys. Uh, Till next time, to all my girls, guys, and gamers, I appreciate it. Much love and blessings to all you guys. Till next time. Peace. Yo, I need some cute tips. Yo, I need some alcohol. If I have some iron lungs, all my problems will be solved. So get.